Welcome to Business Communication Module. In this module, we would be discussing communication and customer care relations. We would be covering the striving towards competitive advantage, the overall changing scenario of the business and the customer friendly orientation of employees. So let us start with what is customer centric. As the name said, it is it could be customer centric or it could be client centric means it is a business strategy that is based on putting your customer first and at the core of your business in order to provide a positive experiences and build a long term relations. So basically a customer centric way of doing business is a way that provides a positive uh, customer experiences before and after the sale is sale in order to drive the repeated business and enhance the customer uh, loyalty and improve the business growth. We could also say that when you put or a business puts a customer to the core of your business, core of its business, it combines the customer relationship management and your to collect a wealth of data which gives you a full 360 degree view of the customers and this can then be used to enhance the customer experiences now let us come to the practices of a customer centric company the best practices could be like uh, the brand that are, that are passionate and truly believe the customer comes first second could be the brand that focuses on what the customer wants and needs and develops products and services around that only. The third could be the brand that focuses on a building relationship designed to maximize the customer's product and services experiences. The fourth one is brands that analyze, plan and implement a careful formulated customer marketing strategy that focuses on creating and keeping the profitable and loyal customers. There is one this diagram which shows a customer centric there are various like there are six points that are considered that says that there is a customer focused leadership there is understanding your customers design the experiences empower the front line metrics that matters and then the feedback drive continuous improvement. Let us come to the customer service now. What is customer service? So customer service as it says, as it mentions the slide, it says that it is the set of activities, behavior and beliefs that uh, places a high priority on customer's interest and continuously create superior customer values. So the five dimensions of the services are reliability. Reliability means where the quality and the level of uh, service is consistent second says assurance assurance means uh, having knowledge and courtesy of staff and their ability to convey trust and confidence the third one is tangible tangible means the organizations of physical facilities equipments and appearance of staff the fourth one is empathy means the degree of caring and individualized uh, attention that the organization's staff provides to its customer and the last one is responsiveness that is the willingness of staff to help the customers and provide prompt services well there are disappointed customers also who often wants uh, that is an empathetic uh, ear that means uh, if sometimes they simply wants to vent out what uh, they are dissatisfied about so they want to know that the employer employee or the manager is listening and caring or sometimes an apology also that is a sincere apology is enough a solution sometimes that is uh, typically customers brings in some issues to the attention of the staff because they want them to be fixed sometimes compensation that is the upset comes customers are looking for compensation but not always and then a follow-up follow-up means some people they it is important to know that their concerns are brought to the attention of the management and are fixed for future customers and the last one is reassurance reassurance means the customers wants to know that they are in the goods good hands now this is this is a picture of 10 principles of customer strategies as the first one says master the art of the possible second know your customer at a granular level third link your company's comp uh, customer strategy to its overall identity 
target fourth one is target customers with whom you have the right to win fifth treat your customers as assets they will grow in value sixth leverage leverage your ecosystem seven ensure a seamless omniscient experience eighth excel at delivery ninth reorganize around the customers and the last one tenth one says match your culture with your customers strategy now let us come to this it says before this i would also like to mention that there are eight p's that specify the components to reach the selected market like four p's major p's and four other supporting p's the four major p's are the product the place the promotion the pricing the peop then comes the people the programming the partnership and the physical evidences so the what is your range of the product like, like how your product will uh, will be made available to the customers in the market promotion is basically a combination of marketing techniques that is the advertisement personal sales and the pricing is a part of comprehensive uh, uh, re revenues that the management and the pricing plans the people is developed developing human resource plan strategies to support uh, positive interactions between the host and the guest programming is basically it's a customer oriented uh, oriented uh, activities like special events festivals special activities which are designed to increase the customer spending or length of stay or to add to the appeal of the packages the partnership is basically known as the cooperative marketing which increases the uh, you know the reach and the impact of marketing efforts and the physical evidence is it's a way in which the uh, business can demonstrate their uh, marketing claims and customers can you know document their experiences such as stories reviews blogs posts etc so now uh, there is one more word called integrated marketing communication which is basically involves the you know the planning and coordinating all the promotional mix elements that is including the online and um, social media components uh, to be as consistent and mutually supportive as possible so this approach is much superior to using each element separately and independently there are various factors which are shown uh, which shows that to have impact on the choice of the customers like their personal factors which reflects their need wants motivation or the previous experiences or you know it could be a person's lifestyle or uh, interpersonal factors such as culture, social class, family, or opinion leaders, etc. So the marketers may determine a degree of predictability about the customer's perception, and the customers are, you know, they are less likely to use perceptual bias to distort information uh, received on an interpersonal uh, basis. So absorb complicated information that requires efforts to comprehend so customers have to be motivated to act on satisfying their wants needs where while the marketers need to trigger the process of supplying uh, objectives and potential motives uh, so this is the diagram which shows the activities that make initial contact with the customers and moves from uh, through the various stages of the relationship so there are basically three relationship stages the first stage says that it is meeting and getting acquainted and the typical uh, marketing activities could be to find the desirable target customers including those likely to deliver uh, a high uh, customer life uh, lifetime values or understand what these customers want then build awareness and uh, demand for what you offer and capture the new business this is the first stage the second stage says providing a satisfying experiences means measure and improve customer satisfaction uh, track how customers want and needs evolve then develop the customer confidence trust and goodwill demonstrate and uh, you know communicate competitive advantages monitor and encounter counter the competitive forces the third stage says it's sustain a committed relationship that is convert contacts into the loyal repeated customers rather than creating only one time customers then anticipate and respond to evolving needs then deepen relationships expand uh, each of each of and reliance of what you offer to summarize i would say that uh, 
you know the customer is firmly in the driving seat and what it comes to uh, is uh, comes a required change is how you build and nurture relationships with a uh, potential and existing customers so the companies that put the customers at the heart of their organizations are experiencing an increase in customer lifetime values and a reduction in the chunk so becoming a truly customer centric organizations takes time but you can start off with small steps so that is all in this uh, module thank you so much